Hello there and welcome back to some more Last Remnant. The last episode what we did was we decided to go do more side quests. Now we're going to go fight a massive dragon hopefully and win. Instead of getting shit on this time. That's the dream. We've got to go to Balthavosa. Hello Bush, not to be blunt, but I'd like you to bring the patient ear. Would you like to lend it to me? Sure. Imperium, yeah. Imperium, cotton. Cotton? Hmm. Cotton. I can go to Aid Cliff when I want now, too. That's useful. We're going to Baltoyster Castle. We need to get this shit done. Hello. Young traveller, this is no simple nursery tale. After a thousand years, the Manchester Carlo of Bataan, they assemble against Baltoyster to take back the Tao Tai. This cannot be allowed, no matter the cost. Somehow, the force that was strong enough to even plague the Imperator must be defeated. Baltoyster is calling on men of action to assist in his defense. Traveller, we go to settlement his ability to fight with Ralph. You all help. Okay, time to give up. Vanguard and Batwings. I guess I'll turn some of my unions to that. Fuck it. Vanguard. I've got both now. Sure. That'll be ours. Why not? Leave it to me. We can do that. And uh Vanguard. I know it just says it's worse, but we'll just do that for now. I've got both active, so maybe it'll make a difference. It probably won't, but maybe it will. Yep. I gotta try. Then go, Traveller! The Ancient War. Let's do it. Defeat the enemy. That's the Mantra Skylo that we've got to defeat. We're going to go close in on the guys on the left. As soon as we, as best we can, anyway. If you guys can't do anything against them, I think we're going to stay on our toes. The Mantra Skyler tends not to move. Are you all right? So it's okay in the beginning. You're dead. Goodbye. Oh, they were close enough to attack me. Okay. Hopefully it won't matter. Well, they're half dead. That's fine. We're moving in. Manchester Skylo himself is on standby. He's just chilling. Okay. I mean, it seems like massive overkill, but sure. We're going to help these guys out. Let's go to those ailments. Of the poison, I see. Okay. Blue streak, kill them. There you go. Now heal your poison. That's the first use of refresh. Very useful move. Next time we heal them. They're locked into those guys. Now we're going to go kill them. Bye. Okay. Now we're going to go put some of this action. I'm going to kill them. And we're going to run the fuck away. It's probably best. Fine. Here we go. 
Boom. See ya. Pagus, you fucking OP man. Well, the game says I've got good odds, but I've been here before. Last time I was here, the dragon just killed all of my unions. Didn't even have to try. Okay. Give it everything you've got, but except don't. We'll attack with uh, a small amount of arts this time. We'll keep our HP up too. We want to attack the dragon all with everyone at the same time. But only for the, you know, right at the end. When there's no one else. Kill him. Good shit. Here we go. Hopefully this kills you. The plan is that this kills you. Oh. Okay, no problem. Omni strike! It's a good amount of damage to start off with. Bows in. We're all coming in. Hopefully this misses. He did miss. Good. Omni strike! That's a good amount of damage. Unfortunately, two of my unions are nearly dead. Desperate Whale is what it does when it runs out of um, morale. It gets desperate. And so it tries to get its um, morale up by any means necessary. I haven't got any morale boosting arts yet, and they're very good. The hope would be to keep him in this state of, like, desperation forever. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot less damage now. Without Omnistrike to help me out. No, I didn't want that to happen. This only gets from bad to worse, basically. Because this dragon has a tendency to attack first, as you can see. Which is very bad for business. I say, uh, but it's not bad. <sighs> That's bad, though. Release! It's gonna be up to rush. Should just beat the ever-loving shit out of it. That's down to critical health. We've gotta keep our HP up, it's probably gonna attack me first, yeah. You essentially only need to be able to survive one of its big attacks. This is the big attack. It may just kill me. It didn't kill me. Do I really want a talisman's gift? Yeah, I guess I do, because it'll keep me alive. Counter him! <laughs> talisman's gift makes me immune to one hit on every party member. Obviously not the store. Some games do that. Some games when they make you invincible also make you invincible for curing. Which is just awful. Finish him off! Please! Nah, 
that, mate. It's the cascade strikes that are going to do it, if anything. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Kill them. Kill this man. Kill him. No. No, sorry. No brainer. Kill him. <laughs> Sweet. It's only unfortunate that my other two unions went into a fight and died immediately rather than stayed out of deadlock and healed. Yeah, I killed the Magic Skylo, yeah. I see. You struck without hesitation. Then I give you this. Ooh. The Paltrosis crisis has passed. Still, why would the Magic Skylo betray the Imperator to begin with? Perhaps someday the truth will come to light. Until then, be well, young traveller. Thank you. Ha ha ha. Welcome, Shavu. You've done well to make your way through the Great Desert. I am Bertrude de Belterosa. I trust you visited our market, and certainly you'll be sorry. impressed by the various rare items up to for sale there. Hi, oh, Charlotte. I heard it was a terribly harsh battle. There are no words to express how thankful I am for what you've done. Easy peasy. Don't even worry about it. Learn the technique potions or stick with what I already know. Uh, no tricks, not, not for old dogs. Funny, my old tricks are more than enough to keep you from any more lippy remarks. Uh, it wasn't me, it was the game. You gotta understand. Um, is there anything else I desperately need? Vivification herb. Yeah, I need some of them. We get 50 then. Vivification herb is what lets you revive people. Or at least it's an early version of what lets you revive people. People always shower me with attention. Revive, yeah. So if you can get people to have vivification herb, as well as their other herbs, that's very useful. If you're just looking this up for kicks. No, I'm looking at who has the right herb arts. And if not, we can make them learn more herb arts by making them use herbs. This weapons are quite nice. AP charge, one on damage. So I gain one AP if I get hit. It doesn't seem too great. Gotta be honest with you. There's that. That looks like the business. We've also got these cool items. But I'd really want to get that if I was going to get anything. The Sword of the Seven. It's just a good... It's not like OP. It's just a really good item. We need Fenrir main, or Fenris main for that. Nether Blossom and Charm must be seven. Just having a quick look. What art style am I using right now? Mainly, mainly Power Grip. So having that plus three Power Grip uh, would be pretty good. It's a belt, isn't it? Yeah, belt, uh, idle belt. Idle Fragment Imperium and Poison Nussnacker Needle. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've got. That's a huge weapon. You can't equip that. Plenty of good shit. Anyway. Look, Aston, do I go and try and kill the bird again? No, I don't think so. Monculus Horn. I'm going to go to the pubs and have another look around for any more quests. Oh, there was Cademan too. Cademan had a quest for me. I just remembered. Hey, Cademan. We'll get this done. I promise. Let me just have a quick look around for anyone else. That's Jorgen. We'll talk to him in disc two. He'll be like one of the last quests I do. Hey, Cademan. How are you? The Chana have grown too large in number. We of the Silver Falcons will go to Blackdale, lure them into battle and crush them. Will you lend a hand? Of course. 
I would like to proceed to Blackdale as soon as possible. Are you prepared? Yep. Glory to the Falcons. I'm leaving the same formations on. I'll change them back in a minute. Defeat the enemy. Let's do it. Oh, they're, they're reinforced by what? Oh dear. Many enemies. Give him a quick spark. That'll sort him out. Come on, let's kick some I learned some interesting things about um, the way to play this game. Thought you might be interested in. Including using lower level arts more and more and more often rather than high level arts. For some reason it makes the spell go up better. For example, often choosing to use spark instead of uh, wind shear is better. I don't know why. I didn't lead it up that carefully or if I did I forgot. But it's certainly better. So you may see me using it more often. Low level moves. Stop hitting me, you stupid bitch. I really don't like that. Like it's gonna die. It's gonna fucking suck. Got a fair leader right now. Get get out of there. Do I hang in? Yeah, I guess I hang in. These guys aren't particularly strong, so I don't think they can kill me. Yeah, unless yeah. he killed me in that one hit. Thank you. I'm also fairly oh, sure herb arts like are low level, so you don't need to have a lot of AP to upgrade them. I do know something I did in one of my old files was uh, you take off the ability to heal with magic so that people are forced to use herbs to heal, and that's somehow useful. I can't remember how, but it's good for a reason. I think it helps to get reviving herbs quicker, although you can also get reviving magic. Well. That was anticlimactic. Oh god. He's still coming. Okay. Drive him out. We keep our HP up. We're gonna we'll just kill him. No problem. Let's, let's rock. I also learned that contrary to what I believed, um, higher level magic doesn't cost more AP to use. So like Spark 4 costs the same amount of AP as Spark 1, making it just better in every way. The more you know. Be gone. Why Pagus is goof every time? Did you answer me that? Still getting quite annoying, actually. Doink. There you go. Hit, hit the big boys. We don't care about if you hit them. That's much more uh, clever as a tactic. Boink. That was more of a bonk than a boink. That was a powerful bonk. This should be a smack. Oh, it missed. It's more like a boop, 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 boop. What am I even saying? Who knows? Do you need to know? I'm going for aggresso. They're still being reinforced. This might be the last of the reinforcements. Hey! I missed my input. Sorry. 
Uh oh. See ya. Come on. Can't believe we all missed. Now, if they're going to waste a turn healing, that's good. No, I thought the fight was over. I'm sorry. Well, Rush's team should be able to just fucking one-shot these guys, so I'm not worried about dying to them. Drive them out. Get them out of here. See if I care. Bone is annoying, but Mystic Missile is actually fine. It just becomes a game of me having to get Rush over there as quick as possible so that they don't die. Kill them right now. No more bullshit. There you go. Goodbye. Now heal. Ah, oh, that's fine. I don't think they'll do a thousand damage. <laughs> Turned around to miss the first bone and just got clonked in the face with the second one. Haha, I fooled you. Oh. Ah, you engaged me. Why did you run away? Yeah, you actually game. engaged me, fucking idiot. Come here. On, you done fucked up. I get more from Jano anyway. There you go. No one gained any stat levels from that. I guess they're too low level. Well done. They will behave themselves for now. There is not an emotion they sustain for long periods of time. Here, take this. The Shamshir. Someone, someone might want it. I may ask you for assistance again in the future. Until then. Another side quest in the bag. Done. Luckily, the side quests are almost done. There's only like 18 or something left in the game. Hey, Cayman. How did the Silver Falcons come to be? Mm. Amitra was the founder. This all happened decades ago, at the time I'd gone to the mountains above the town to view the Tao Tai. As you know, Savani are very proud beings. Like most of us, I'd always kept to myself. There was a shabby-looking sword who wandered the area. Whenever he saw me, he'd call out a hello. At the time, I found his familiarity rather impertinent. Not too much later, a monstrous assault of the town. It's a terrible timing as the army had been called aboard. Veltrosa was thrown into a panic. That's when that Sal sword appeared. He gathered the mercenaries of the town and led them against the monster hordes, saving the town. I could not understand his actions. Why would he risk his life for a bunch of strangers? What was his motive? He caught my interest, and so I decided to join him. He was the first leader of the Silver Falcons. This story has run long. Perhaps I will continue it later. That's enough for now. Almost certainly something happened here. Something terrible has happened to our leader, our good friend. I'm going to have to avenge him. So I never get old. I think the next person I need to go is Gorm. Should be a witch here. Somewhere around this place. the gorse or one of the other places because uh, the witch basically goes to a new city every time and the last place she went to is Illusion. So 
So it's either here or like maybe Baluk or maybe uh, I'm trying to think where else it could be. Oh, I think there's her over there. Come here, you. Got the splitter and the Gorian. Hello. Ugh, can you believe this place is so run down? I mean, seriously, would it kill that old fish guy to fix this place up? Like, I would completely rebuild this place, paint the walls bright pink, totally in this year, totally in this year. They never would be required to wear roses. That would give such a touch of class, don't you think? Anyways, I was thinking I should go someplace with, like, history and junk, so I'm selling this one-of-a-kind Kenya charm, and, like, you should buy it. Cute, I'll take it. Awesome, because really, you need all the charm you can get. Ooh, ice burn. Ooh. Ooh. Smell you later, girl. I'm outie. Fucking ripping me off everywhere she goes. Athlum, sell play, illusion, Nagapur, gore. He wants to go to a place with history. Where you been? <laughs> Athlum, sell play, illusion, Nagapur, and gore. Okay. Athlum, sell play, illusion, Nagapur, and gore. Maybe you went to Baltarosa. Is that a place with history? Maybe you should to Royosha. gonna follow her around. This place is storied. It's made, you know, ore for millennia. Apparently not enough. Fuck it. Woman, she asks too much in this world. Also, apparently there's only nine shards, not not twelve. So I've actually got a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of nine, rather than seven out of twelve. So I need to find two more quests, and that'll be it. Jobs are good un. So she didn't go here, but if she did, she went to the castle. But I don't think she'd be allowed in the castle, to be honest. So let's go to Baltarosa then. This has more than one area, so she could be in either one. But usually she likes to shop. Well, you're not in this one. Maybe you're in the top area. I go to Baltarosa a lot, don't I? This area is fairly open. If she's in here, I'd be able to see her. She's not. Okay. Interesting. Then I guess I'll go and see if she's in Baluk, and then I'll leave that for later on. I might not be able to do anything more on disc one. Technically, this game has two discs, but on the PC version, it's just all in one file. As was the case with a lot of games that had multiple discs. Uh, missions. We'll give it a little look. A little quick check. Hello. I got a Daimyo Katani. Daimyo Katani? Daimyo Katana. Uh, the rest are just collecting missions and weapon master. Okay. Any units I should be interested in? No. Absolutely not. Sorry, those two guys who I keep looking at and going, Ugh, I don't want to get those two guys. Ugh, disgusting. One quick check of the pub and then we'll end for now. And fight this motherfucker later. Okay. Nothing here. I don't think there's any of the towns or stuff I've missed completely yet. Besides Malfina, but I can't actually go there yet. Right, I'm going to save here then. And then we're going to do some story progress, actually. For real. 
for serious this time. I swear. Okay. See you guys next time when we do some story progress. Bye! Thank you.